Yo, what's going on, buddy? This is Dylan Talk Sports. My name is Dylan. In this video, I know I'm very late on this, but I wanted to talk about the Shohei Otani contract. He got signed to a 700 fucking million dollar contract to the go to play for the Los Angeles Dodgers. The interesting part about this contract is it is kind of been maneuvered into a way of where he's only going to be paid about 20 million dollars over the next 10 years, which is the time of when he'll probably be playing until he retires. And then after that, he's going to be getting paid almost 680 million dollars, probably in another state where he's not going to get state taxes. And he's going to be able to get almost all of his money, whether he moves back to Japan or somewhere else in the United States. We're going to basically discuss this whole contract. We're going to discuss if it's good for the Dodgers. We're going to discuss if another team fumbled the bag. Should somebody else have gotten him? There were a couple teams that I thought he might go to. I'll kind of discuss that a little bit. But then ultimately, I'm going to kind of wrap it up by saying if I think this was a good contract for both sides. And then how I think Shohei Otani will do with the Dodgers. And if I think they are going to prop possibly win a world series title with him so without further ado i'm gonna stop rambling if you're going to enjoy today's video as always make sure you do drop a like it's very much appreciated if you do so and without further ado let's get into it So as we know, like I said, it's a $700 million contract. It's actually the number one contract in North American sports history, not just baseball. This is more money than any football player has ever gotten, more money than any basketball player has ever gotten, more money than any hockey player, soccer player, anybody has ever gotten in sports. And I'm talking everywhere in North America. It doesn't matter what sport. I also believe, correct me if I'm wrong, it's actually possibly also the biggest contract we've ever seen in just sports history around the world because there, I, obviously, for those of you who don't know, soccer or football is big time overseas especially like in places like saudi arabia barcelona argentina those countries they will give players upwards of like five six hundred million dollars to go play for a team for only like five to ten years Shohei Otani, like he has said 10 years 700 million dollar contract okay now to kind of break down this contract i'll put the link to this website down in the description it'll be cbssports.com uh, basically kind of goes into talk about his entire contract and like i said if you want to read it for completely for yourself and go in depth you can do so in your free in your spare time but I'm just gonna kind of point out the important things about this contract. It says here that he, uh, it's been speculated that Otani could seek out, seek an opt out or multiple even opt outs to cash in further once he completes elbow surgery rehab and shows that he is healthy and productive pitcher, but that did not happen. His contract does not include any traditional opt out clauses. It's a 10 year contract with no opt outs or option years, though he's had, there is a possible escape hatch on Otani's end, which basically says, quote, if specific change in Dodger personnel player may opt out of contract at the end of the season if the change occurs quote the other thing i think people are kind of confused about is why would he only take two million dollars a year to go play in la last time i checked two million dollars ain't a lot to get you around in la the thing is it says like right here he got paid almost 40 million dollars living in anaheim state same thing still los angeles but paid 40 million dollars in just endorsements endorsements if he can get that off endorsements, I think he's I think he's chilling to live there. Let's look at some of the other things that Otani's going to be getting within this uh, kind of like a contract. Uh, it says here, Otani's contract stipulates that he'll donate to a Dodgers charity in an amount that will not exceed one percent. So one percent of his contract every single year is going to be going to a donation of a charity from the Dodgers, which is very nice of him. And then the next thing is a personal suite. Otani is going to get a personal suite for all regular season and postseason games while also being provided an interpreter. So with this, if he has a girlfriend, a wife, family, friends, anybody that he wants to have go up to the suite, he's gonna have a personal suite that anybody can go up there and watch games, come watch him play. The part I don't really understand is him having to be provided an interpreter. I'm guessing that's more or less just for the suite. I, when I first read that, I was thinking, is that talking about his interpreter that he already has? Because he already has an interpreter that kind of walks around with him. That way he can you know, talk to the press, talk to the management, whatever. Now I want you guys to go ahead and read this paragraph here. I'm not gonna read it entirety. Uh, but if you want to go and just read it real quickly, just to kind of summarize it for you, basically what it's talking about is Shohei Otani with this contract. I feel like his agent is a master uh, negotiator with the Dodgers and him and the Dodgers both were able to come together on an agreement that is perfect for both teams. It is set up to where Shohei Otani is not going to be gouged by taxes. The team is not going to be spending wasteless money on taxes. Their luxury tax is not going to be bullied around to where they're going to have no money to surround players around the team and now for the next 10 years they can still go out and get more free agents if they want to it's just the one thing that the owner has to had to agree on is that in 10 years like we said he's going to have to be paying upwards of 68 million dollars a year to a player that's not even around now when that day comes i'm pretty sure the dodgers and Hotani they can get back together because some players for those of you who don't know there's contracts within the mlb of going all the way back to the 1990s of 
players from then that are still being paid upwards of like a million dollars a year right now some even like a few hundred thousand dollars a year because they just keep stretching the contract out and out just so they don't have to keep paying five, uh, 70 million dollars they can pay 40 million dollars and then if time goes on it's like we need some money let's take that 40 million let's chop it up into like 10 million across the next four years chop it up even more if you need to and i can really see the uh hotani and the dodgers doing that when that date comes because i don't know about you but in those 10 years right now they're probably thinking oh it'll be 10 years we'll be good to go but when that day comes they're not gonna want to spend that especially with the case of you have to think of it like this let's say in 10 years let's say in 20 years whenever the contract ultimately will be done with because they will then be paying the 68 million dollars across the next 10 years who says the owner of the dodgers is still going to be there who says that next owner decides to say fuck this contract i don't want to be spending those 68 million dollars they might decide to just say we got to chop this up and stretch it as far as possible or they might decide hey i'm comfortable we're probably not going to be winning a title anytime soon i'm comfortable just paying this money right now but if they're wanting to win a title they're gonna stretch that money now to kind of talk about if this was the right decision for show Otani, i think it was there was talks about toronto blue jays maybe the chicago cubs the san francisco giants uh there were some talks about what the atlanta braves it was kind of murmurs nothing really serious the yankees were a little bit involved but i think at this point the yankees they pretty much said we're already spending so much money on all these players we can't put another huge price tag on this uh, roster ultimately i think shohei with him living in anaheim for all those years he just kind of decided la is a nice spot i'm just gonna stay here dodgers are right there they're always competing for a title in the playoffs every single year why not now to kind of summarize with the contract like i said for him and the dodgers i think it's mwah, perfect contract it's done sealed perfect for both teams like i said taxes are going to be taken care of when those dates come shohei if he wanted to move somewhere else somewhere that's uh state free uh, income taxes like a texas or a florida he can move somewhere like that or if he want to move back to japan i don't know what taxes are like in that kind of country but if he wanted to do that he could and for the dodgers chances of them going to the playoffs every single year i think that's very doable but the roster they have they still got Mookie Betts, they still got clayton kershaw they still have freddie freeman this roster still stacked over the next 10 years do i think they're going to win a multiple world series i think at the minimum they are going to get at least one ring i'm gonna say within the next five years they're going to get a ring they have to get one within the next five years maybe next three i'm willing to bet money and say that within the next three years they're going to be world series champs but ultimately to kind of wrap it up i think this like i said great for both sides dodgers you got a stud in uh probably a hall of fame legendary generational player to that's going to be known for your franchise people are calling him the this, this generation's babe ruth i'm still curious if i would even go that far babe ruth shohei otani like I'm going to need to see Shohei go out here and break a lot of records to see it and to believe it. But other than that, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did go on to enjoy today's video. As always with these videos, if you're going to enjoy, make sure you go ahead and drop a like. I very much appreciate it if you do so. If you wanted to watch the entire today's video, thank you very much. And yet maybe uh, I missed a detail or you want to leave your opinion on kind of how or the whole show a tiny contract thing went if you think it's a good contract bad contract if you wanted him to go somewhere else if you're a fan of the dodgers how are you feeling about show a tiny on your team do you like it hate it leave it in the comment section down below me you're welcome to talk about it with you guys let me know and kind of discuss your opinions and also if you're a fan of the channel and you want to go and hit that big red subscribe button feel free to do so and do not forget to hit that little notification bell to be notified the second i post but without further ado this has been don talk sports have a great day peace